Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. So last week we just didn't have enough to unlock the nuclear engine, so I just did some science so we can get it and do another interplanetary mission. This time we're gonna focus to Gilly and Eve. So this is a Delta V map which shows us how much Delta V we need to get there. Gilly about 5020 in total. Of course, we're not gonna be very optimized, so we're gonna get a bit of extra fuel to be sure. So here I start building our lander, putting some experiments and science data on it, some RCS, monopropellant and normal propellant. I'm looking for what engine would fit the best, and I will go with a design of four little engines on the side. So this is our lander, and no, I'm actually looking at those new uh, little science projects we have in uh, Breaking Ground and adding them in the bay, like a service bay in there. I'm adding also a little uh, empty fuselage for our fairings so they look a little bit better. And this will be our transfer stage now, so I'm putting only liquid fuel. fuel. Why? Because the engine, engine uh, the nuclear engines only need liquid fuel, they don't need oxidizers, so it will save us some weight. So here we go, I go with uh, four engines and uh, an empty structure in the middle so we can attach our main stage to it. So for the main stage I'm using those big fuel tanks and big engines. I started um, putting four boosters on the side. I'll change them later on but for now let's just attach some solar panels and batteries, especially on the middle stage because the nuclear engines require a lot of energy. So here I noticed I forgot the most important part, our main pod, our command pod, the, the one which will return to Kerbin. So here is me putting it with some parachutes and reattaching the whole craft, make sure everything is in the right place. And of course I forgot to add um, a decoupler in the middle. So here we go, put a scientist and a pilot in there. And here is me changing the boosters, as I said, for just standard engines with standard fuel and fuel lines in the middle. So that should be better. I'm adding RCS with some monopropellant, so we'll have um, easier control in the air. So here we are, launch, nothing special. We we'll slowly start our gravity turn around here, very slowly. Slowly, slowly, you see the RCS is helping us a little bit with the stability. Ditching our side engines. And here we go on the main engine. All the way up to about 70, 80 kilometers. And then we burn horizontally, change, ditch the fairings, look at the map view, and circularize our orbit. We're not very perfect here, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. So everything is in place, extend the solar panels, set Eve as our target. And here, thanks to this little mod, we can see where Eve has to be in comparison to us. So right now I'm just circularizing my orbit a bit more. And here we see that Eve is too far away. It needs to be about 50 degrees. So I go to the... Um, track station because we can fast forward the time faster than when we're flying so here you go flying again now at the right spot and here is our ejection angle so of course we need to eject we need to start burning when we are inside inside meaning um, towards the sun ball or kerbal it's called in Kerbin. why because our because the orbit of Eve is smaller, is inside our own orbit. So here we go, our main burn. We are very close to it, and we'll do a second node to um, to get the proper encounter. So here we go, fast forward. Here is our second burn, and we get a nice encounter with Eve. So our plan is to actually first orbit Eve and then do some science and after that we're gonna go to Gilly. 
and actually land on Gilly, get some surface samples and other stuff we can get. So here it's me getting a better orbit. Actually, I should have got a bit more inclination because Gilly is in slight inclination. But um, it doesn't matter, we have enough fuel. So here we are doing science um, high above E first. All the science with our Bob, our scientist, so we can reset our experimentations. There we go. Now we go on the retro burn to get caught by Eve's sphere of influence. And there we go. We got an orbit. And let's get Bob outside to do some science close above Eve. Eve's beautiful purple atmosphere, very deadly. We're not gonna land on Eve yet, we're not ready for that. But we're gonna go to Gilly instead. So here we have to do a little inclination change because Gilly is at 10, 10 degrees approximately inclination. So here we are, but Gilly is so small that you won't be able to get a proper encounter. But don't worry, just get a close enough approach, that'd be good enough. And once you get near Gilly, we just do some sm small tuning and get, there we go, get very close. As you see, the sphere of influence is really, really small. So just a little bit of delta V is enough. There we go, some science high above Gillian first by Bob. He's used to it now. He's been doing a lot of those. Get back into the ship. Retrograde burn. Of course, we're a little bit late. I was just hoping it wouldn't be too late, but it's all good. Get a nice round orbit. Why? Because we're going to have to rendezvous with the main ship later on. Here we ditch the lander, get Bob into lander. Bob's going to land for us. So again, this lander is totally overkill, but it's okay. Giddy has, it's so small, it has almost no gravity, so it's very slow going down and it's probably impossible to crash. So here we go, ever so slowly going down and down. There we are, doing some more science just above Gilly, and we are on a very high inclination, but it's actually okay, our lander is pretty nice. There we go. Let's get Bob outside and take some circle sample and do some science and of course plant a flag. And here is where I realized that I actually forgot to bring out all the things we put in the service bay, all the science, little things from breaking ground updates. Totally forgot it, but uh, oh well, whatever, we'll do it next time. So here I try to get a nice rendezvous, but since Bob is not the pilot, we don't have the maneuver nodes possibilities, which is a bit of a pain, but it's okay, it's not too bad. Also, um, as soon as we put a bit too much prograde, we get out of the sphere of influence and we get thrown around Eve again. So I'm just getting something approximately, and then we're going to do it by hand, by hand, meaning just point to our, to our target, get there not too fast, and then retrograde, of course, relative to our target. Do this a few times, and then you get really close by, and then we can start the docking. So here we are, very close, a few hundred meters. So here it's me. I'm actually struggling with the docking this time. The problem is I actually put the activate the RCS on both ships, and it's not really good at the idea because they keep bouncing together. But as you can see, after I deactivated, I got a nice docking, transferring all the science to the main pod and transferring all the fuel remaining in the lander into the main tanks. So we're sure to have enough fuel on the way back. Here we are, transferring the fuel, putting ourselves into a crash course with Gilly, so we don't leave the lander behind. Detach the lander so it will crash and put ourselves back into a EVE orbit. So here we are, back into Eve's orbit, and now we're gonna try to find an encounter with Kerbin again. So I'm trying different things on getting to a close encounter, which is good enough. 
we are doing our main burn on the way back. We should have more than enough fuel, should not be any problem. Here we are, very close encounter, good enough. We'll do a second adjustment maneuver in the middle with some inclination change and a little bit of retrograde. So we get close to Kerbin, there we are. Here we see we just gonna get about 50, 60 kilometers above Kerbin. So be sure to be caught by the atmosphere, but not too much so we won't burn up. Here we go, fast forward, we are back into Kerbin's sphere of influence. And let's break, let's build, let's burn retrograde and a little bit radial. So we just end up the rest of our fuel before ditching our tanks and mid stage. There we are, out of fuel, ditching the stage. And all that's left is for us to land. So we wait, we wait, and it gets really hot in there. It doesn't show that it has a blader field, a blader shields, but I think they do have, otherwise would have burned up. Get the parachutes out, enjoy the views on the mountains, land and actually get a bit more science from up there. And have a look at all this science we gathered. Amazing. So what should we spend it on? We could spend it on better solar panels, a bit more better antennas, and of course more science experiments. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, comment, like and subscribe. And see you next week. Thank you. Bye.